Hello. In the today's tutorial, we're going to talk about OKRs and how I implement them in Airtable. I will show you uh, and walk you through my implementation in Airtable, how I track my objectives and key results. If you didn't hear about OKRs, OKRs are or is a goal setting framework for defining and tracking objectives and their outcomes. OKRs are basically um, consist of three parts. There are objectives, there are key results and there are initiatives. The objective level basically says, tells you where do I need to go? What is my focus for the next three months or for the next year? Uh, objectives shouldn't contain any numbers and are statements that inspire you and set the direction. Key results, on the other hand, are not key results if they are not quantifiable, if they don't contain any numbers. They basically say, how do I know I'm getting there? which means they are there to measure the progress towards the objective. And initiatives on the other side are what or tell you what will I do to get there to the key results. Initiatives describe the work required to drive progress on key results. You could also say initiatives are tasks or projects uh, that describe the work needed to drive progress on the key results. I think that's enough of theory. Let's jump into my Airtable and I show you how you can use Airtable to track your OKRs. In this tutorial, I cannot go into great detail how to define great OKRs and key results. I just want to show you how to use Airtable to track them. And yeah, we'll just come up with some uh, objectives and key results towards these objectives. Um, we define OKRs for three months now uh, and uh, track them uh, weekly, update them weekly. In our weekly meetings, we yeah, check the progress on each objective and key result and uh, to yeah, see uh, how we are progressing overall. And yeah, let's jump into it. Let's see objective is, um, first objective is I want to have implement a healthier lifestyle. I want to do this and in which period I want to do this in Q3, quarter three of uh, 2020. This is my first objective. In each three months you should not define more than three to four objectives uh, that you want to achieve. Those gave your direction as we said. I also want to become a content producing machine. Also my objective and also for Q3. And third thing is I want to start my Academy to educate people. Again, you free. Uh, yeah, here you should uh, describe a little bit uh, in more detail what you want to uh, achieve exactly, and uh, describe uh, yeah the name of your ob objective a little bit uh, in more detail. I will not do that for this tutorial, and yeah, we will directly jump to our key results now. Now it's time to define measurable key results for our objectives that we just defined. 
we are going to define three to five key results for each of our objectives. So we start with, uh, I said I wanted to be a content producing machine and so I gonna create 90 TikToks to get used to produce content. Uh, 90 because it's 90 days current. Uh, I start with zero and in the end I want to have 90. Unit is pieces of content and uh, my objective here is become a content producing machine. This is filled automatically then here and we gonna update on a weekly basis uh, how many pieces of content are gener generated. Let's test this out. Let's say first week I was a little bit lazy. I produced just five pieces of content, which is uh, around 5%. Second week I was producing 20 videos and yeah here you see uh, you uh, the numbers are updated and uh, you see your completion rates here in this view uh, you see grouped by objectives um, the progress in the whole objective uh, yeah, if we add, for example, as well, I want to add uh, 10 YouTube videos. Normally, I also would describe here a little bit in more detail uh, what, what exactly I want to achieve, what I want to do. And my starting value is 0. My goal is 10 pieces of content again. And it's also related to become a content producing, producing machine. I added one first week and zero second week. Let's say total I achieved 10%. And uh, yeah, now you see here the average is calculated and I'm 18% done with my uh, finishing the becoming a content content producing machine uh, objective. Let's add another uh, thing, um, key result for um, another objective. Lose five kilos, for example, let's say starting weight 85 kilos, goal is 80 kilos. This is related to healthier lifestyle. Here I would enter just my current weight because that's all that matters in the end of my three months. I want to be on 80 kilos and I would add 83 in second week, for example, which is progress of 40 kilos and uh, 40% and here I would say okay grouped to my second objective uh, yeah I'm 40% there as I said I would define three to five key results for each objective let's also define one uh, for our last objective start my academy let's say I want to produce an online course there with uh, 20 chapters and I want to produce let's say 20 total 20 videos for course this is related to start my academy uh, I start with zero and Ah, no, not, this was a mistake. Yeah, I started with zero and the goal is that I have 20 pieces of content. In the end, I didn't do anything in the beginning. Are at 5% completion. 
but now I should see all my free objectives here and also the completion rates and here down here I also see the yeah, overall completion rate you also um, can compare this of course with the uh, time that was passing by if you're in week 2 and you have 20% completed that's still great uh, yeah and, and so you can uh, track your um, progress here with these uh, key results you should update your OKRs uh, at least every second week better is uh, every week to stay motivated to see how you are progressing and uh, to see if you're focused as well um, as said before uh, the key results are not the actual actions the tasks the projects um, you probably should break down the key results into actions or projects initiatives as we said before and uh, yeah uh, plan your weeks and also your days I would, su would suggest um, maybe with through daily journaling or uh, yeah picking the one most important thing for today uh, that brings you forward um, if you complete that uh, the day was a success and brings you towards your uh, key results and uh, yeah achieving your objectives as well I hope this was useful. Uh, leave a comment if you're interested uh, mm, or if you also want to have access to my template, OKR template in Airtable. Uh, would be happy uh, to exchange thoughts about it. Before I forget, uh, please hit the bell and the subscribe button. If you want more content in this direction, then let me know in the comments and have fun with OKRs.